So in the uh, in the numerical FTTD, as you see here, we have a substrate. So we have a different part, like uh, as I showed in um, in my presentation. So for instance, here we have aluminum gallium indium phosphide. We have aluminum indium phosphide. So we have SCL. We have multi quantum well. Here is our multi quantum well again SCL. Aluminium indium phosphide, as you see highlighted. Uh, aluminium gallium indium phosphide, gallium phosphide, and ITU. So this is the the material. So we can we can manage the the material and layer just by right click and select edit object. In the properties, you can um, change the like the material and you can assign any material that you uh, like that you want like layer one layer two to layer nine you see and also the layer thickness you can change the layer thickness uh, like by changing the value in this column and um, so here the like um, in, if we go to the script part you can see that we have a mat material layer one layer two to layer nine you can add any layer as you wish here and again we have a layer thickness so like we define the layer the material and thickness in in the property section like here so then uh, like these four loops assign a material and layer for uh, for each layer so you can see that uh, we can change the uh, the number of layer and material and thickness easily by uh, by this part so um after we define the geometry uh, we can uh, uh, add the simulation region so as you see here in the FTTD as you see as the orange box uh, so in the simulation region like uh, we select the, the dimension as 3d uh, so like our simulation time is like here is 500 femtosecond so in the geometry, so this is the geometry of FTTD. Um, we want to cover the whole layers of FTTD in, in our box. So here are, is our mesh setting. We, we put the mesh accuracy of two. It means that, so if we put a mesh accuracy of one, it means that we have six point in each wavelength. So mesh accuracy of two, it means that we have 10 uh, points in one wavelength. So if we increase like mesh accuracy of three, it means that we have 14 points. And, and uh, so like the trade-off is a time of simulation. And uh, but what we can get the more accurate result, but, but here mesh accuracy of two is enough for us. So uh, about the boundary condition, because our uh, structure is symmetric, I use uh, X min as anti-symmetric and Y min as symmetric. So the other part, like Z for Z, is, is I, I, I consider a PML. So also the early uh, shut off uh, here, I put one e minus five. So about this parameter I described in my previous videos. Please look at those. And if you have any question, please reach out at support.ozenic.com. So the next, so we define the geometry, we define the source, and then like we can define the source. So we can add the source from here. And uh, so we put the dipole source. Uh, this is our dipole set. The, the, the value of theta is 90. So uh actually this is the, the range of frequency that we want to simulate and uh, so also we put some monitors to see the result uh, for instance we put some time monitors to see um, the, the light behavior in different times we put the different like uh, uh, monitor in a x y and Z direction and also you can see that with the far field so uh, like uh, in the far field like we can calculate the um, uh, 
power versus theta per cell factor transmission and far field. So, uh, for instance, for the far field, uh, this is the result of a far field, and you can see for different. So, uh, you can change the way of. Uh, of looking to the far field like XYZ plan or uh, or like uh, radiation plot so we will select the XY plan and um, you can see how, how it looks like uh, in terms of far field so also you can change you can see the far fields for, for different wavelengths for instance here if I choose as a wavelength as a micro and change the uh, wavelengths you can see how far field changes uh, during the like uh, the micro LED simulation and uh, also the numerical FTTD like uh, uh, we can um, you can use uh, like uh, scripting language so I use this uh, uh, actually uh, this example from the, the ANSYS website so uh, the ANSYS website uh, is accessible uh, like I, I, I put the, the link of this example in, in my presentation please look at my presentation so um, like the way that um, we use the script so we can use the GUI for instance in the GUI you can um, see okay like in the Z I want to see the uh, the far field so uh, like you can see this is a far field in the in the Z, Z monitors like here uh, so or like we can uh, see the transmission you see this is a way of transmission but uh, so one way to look at the result is GUI another way we can use a script like this part this part so like here we read the data from different monitors like X Z and Y normal and then we plot the, the data let's look at just plot this part run selection so as you see here this is the this is a near field in the Z monitors so you can see image X Z and I calculate the uh, the E square uh, of uh, actually uh, of the Y normal I mean here so the other way we can go to the Y normal, visualize, and then uh, we can see the E field, and then change it to the log scale, and then like you can see, we can achieve the same result. But the difference here is. Here we use a GUI, but in this part we use a script. So, for instance, for the far field, like uh, far field in the Z2, run selection. Okay, you can see the this is a far field, like here. We get the data of X, Y, and Z, Z2. So, uh, next, like here. Uh, we use uh, like again we calculate the transmission um, here you can use the data of transmission and plot the transmission and this is the way that we calculate the, the pointing vector calculate the P versus theta per cell factor uh, power in angular cone uh, and if you run all the result you can see how it works
so this is the emitted to air this is the parcel factor this is a power versus theta this is a far field this is a total transmission that we calculate by the script so mm, yes it's um, numerical FTT is very useful to calculate uh, and simulate the micro LED display if you have any question about how we calculate the uh, the micro LED in your project close please reach out to us at support at thank you